Kiki Ama kabisa zote kwa nini Uchabala la gavumi Yelele ma Uyabuzu teki Ama kabisa zote kwa nini Uchabala la gavumi Yelele ma Doctor recommended an HIV test. The results came back positive. The doctor did not provide any counseling or explain what is HIV all about. I asked myself, can this be true? As there was no one to answer me. I answered myself that it cannot be true. There is no such thing as HIV. Ba -ba -ba -bum, ba -bum. I'm a rough guy. I always talk shit. Doesn't give a damn. I'm a boss in my area because I've got a lot of girlfriends. It is true. He knows me. It's a playboy, that is. He knows me. It's a playboy. I know that. Being a guy which is HIV positive and having many girlfriends, you know? I continued with my normal life as a township guy. I had girlfriends because I knew nothing about HIV. I did not use condoms. My daughter died of AIDS at the age of nine months. There was no HIV mother to child transmission prevention program. It's very difficult for, for especially a girl to stay faithful to, to one partner. People had never been faithful. Okay. Yeah, these faithful things, you only see it on, on, on bold and beautiful things, that Bo is faithful to hope. But in real life, there's nothing like that. There's really nothing like that in real life. Yeah. I lost a lot of weight. I was always tired. I had TB twice. I was down to 14 T cells. Those are the cells that fight the disease. This was really AIDS. I didn't even 
hear any, anyone talking about it until 98, no, 97, when I met Chris. And he, he used to say, if, you, if I can have AIDS, what can you do? And then I said to him, I will run away. <laughs> I had seen my partner Christopher die of AIDS. It was not nice. I heard about the mother to child transmission prevention program in Kailicha. As I wasn't in Kailicha, there was no place I could go for testing and treatment to prevent my child from being infected. I only find out that I was positive after my son was born and he tested positive. Because I believe that I can't have this this virus. When you look to yourself and you say, I can't get this, it's far away from me. It's a big problem. It's far, it's it's a prostitute thing. Whereas it is here. It's near you, maybe it's in you, in your body, but you don't know. If you take the test for yourself, so why you say they must separate that people? What about your children? What about if your son got AIDS? What about if your son got AIDS? Did you take him to the hospital for a test? Are you sleeping with one woman? So, you can go to the you can you also go to the I was very, very popular and they know me everywhere. Oh this one, this one, this one is a womanizer, you know. So they call me I'm a womanizer still. So I was a guy, you know. But I'm not saying the life is, is the end of the life. I'm still, a, I'm still a guy, you know. I know I infected a lot of women. I have tried to go back and apologize to them. The first point in my mind is that, hey, I should go to them and telling them that, no, I'm now receiving the bad news that I'm HIV positive. So if, if one of them, take the decision of going to the HIV test so that I can support her, showing how to live with HIV. So they took it light. They started to deny it, telling me that there's no such thing. If you are HIV positive, you are alone HIV positive, not with us. I can't control my feelings. It, it happens to me. Even now, I've got more than four or you can see four or five girlfriends. I'm just showing them that I'm living the normal life again. But I'm strictly in Congo. I'm well educated now. Where's my own? Like, we understand that. We understand the situation. Yeah, yeah, husband. Yeah, we are husband. Oh. What's the moment? I'm first time. I'm here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm not sure I'm going to have a problem. I understand. I'm going to there was no such thing. And there is still no such thing. Even now. Some Gabana was receiving this, and I'm glad I think the condom. Yeah. So you're Yes. Why HIV positive? Yeah. But when you are risk, you're not going to condom. What do you have to do with HIV positive?
always had it on radios, on TVs, on pamphlets, on billboards, everywhere. There was this HIV, HIV kills, HIV, HIV is there. But I never, I never, I never took it seriously. I just ignored it. And I never uh, thought of using a condom in my life. I would, I would meet a guy and he would tell me he's using condom. That was fine with me, if he thinks so. But if he never mentions the condom, I never mention the condom too. I gave birth to a baby girl. Yeah, that was in 99, uh, April, the 9th of April. The name was Noma Zizi. Then I had to, 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 to look after this child who was very sick, who was also... He, in fact, she was in and out of the hospital uh, regularly, time after time. She was in a very, very, very bad uh, state. And she had machines around her. I think they were helping her to breathe. I went to... to, 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 to to her ward, and her bed was empty. There was no one to look after me in the house. Even when they, there is a fort, the, the fort was, was, <coughs> was separated. The pot, my pot was separated. It was painted with a cross of yellow. And then I was having a yellow plate and the yellow cup and the spoons were written A, N, Z, and N, G. <laughs> Also, th I was thinking that I, I, I'm, I was also going to die because I didn't have hope that I can get medicines. I started on a course of antiretroviral medication, D40, 3TC, and Nevirapine. Nancy Kalelo has already had two exposures to tuberculosis. She's had to be treated. The last one was disseminated TB. She's had lots of diarrhea. If there's any time that AIDS could really have shortened her life and we wouldn't have been able to intervene with antiretrovirals. I was hoping that well, when I, I, I started the antiretrovirals, I was praying that they must work because I want to live. I did have some side effects. My doctor helped me to deal with this. My body adjusted to the antiretroviral medication. But you're not feeling any tenderness now? No. Everything's much better. The fact that she has, has gone from a CD4 count of 14, which essentially is almost a non-existent immune system, to a CD4 count almost in the 200 range, which is, is mind-blowing. I mean, it's, it's really... It's, it's, if, if I could tell you, it has completely uh, revolutionized my practice. All women have a right to voluntary HIV counseling and testing. It's frustrating when I see him suffering from his illnesses. It's, it's, it's frustrating me. And it made me feel guilty of transmitting this virus to him.
when I see him suffering. My son, he doesn't look like a, 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 a child who is HIV positive because he is active, he is happy. Just hold the head for me, please. Okay. It's okay. With the kids, they often have a CD4 count that is still above 200. Um, but it's still necessary to treat them with antiretrovirals. We must look at the fraction or the percentage of CD4 cells compared to all the other white blood cells. I want to get these antiretrovirals to see them growing up healthy, doing all things the other children do. That's why, and I don't want to get antiretrovirals alone. I want to get antiretrovirals with, with my son. He thinks he is a man. He doesn't think he is a little boy. Join the treatment action campaign to fight for the affordable treatment for HIV and AIDS. Now I'm healthy and I am on antiretrovirals. I think that I will see him growing up, going to school, going to initial school and having the grandson or granddaughter, my first granddaughter. <laughs> I joined the treatment action campaign. They helped me to understand about HIV I am active in the community advising people about safer sex and treatment of STDs. Every time, whatever you do, you can have five or six girlfriends. But the point is you have to use a condom so that you can keep yourself healthy and protect yourself, protect your life and protect your, your partner's life. If you are HIV positive, you are, stay as you are. So to those who always want to run away from the issue of the HIV, it's not wise they should accept themselves. Then, after they accepted themselves, they will see what's different. You will be relieved. The government is just uh, it's just concentrating on on prevention 
on awareness, but nothing on on treatment on those who are already HIV positive. But if the government is is concerned about prevention and is serious about the prevention, why can't the government prevent the unborn babies from getting the HIV? Yeah. The Treatment Action Campaign has launched an application today in the Pretoria High Court for the government to implement mother-to-child transmission uh, programs, prevention programs. I'm also here uh, supporting uh, this uh, court case against uh, our government because I think it is necessary for the, for the government to implement the MTCT to all the MOUs in South Africa, not only in Cape Town. I'm supporting this because I also lost a child to MTCT. If there was MTCT PP, I think my child would have been alive today. All HIV positive women have a right to prevent passing on HIV to their children. We need a national mother to child HIV prevention program now. Do you have uh, any papers for this demonstration yet? If you give notice, can I see the papers, please? There's restrictions here. You must get. Uh, give notice to the. To the, to the we as the people who are HIV positive, we are expecting the treatment. That's the point. I'm fighting for my own life and for the others who are not fighting. I think that there are people that are dying now and there are medicines, but the government and the pharmaceutical companies are not fair to us because they don't care about our lives. Here I am, I am poor and black and I'm living in a shack, I'm using the drugs and the drugs are working for me. Our government needs to be, to be workshopped, the president himself on HIV and on drugs, because seemingly the, uh, uh, the, our, pre our president doesn't have the more information on HIV itself, let alone on drugs. We voted him for that. He must take care of us too, because it's us who put him on that position. But now, he doesn't look back to us. He is buying weapons for the soldiers. But maybe on 2010, there is no one who is going to use that weapon because the soldiers are infected and affected with HIV. In fact, I still have the hope that government, maybe someday, the government will give up and give us the treatment. I think it is the hope that is keeping me going now. We always tell them that it's not a disgrace for the life. <laughs> Live your normal life so that you can feel the... No. And once you speak out, you don't feel the pain of being HIV positive. No. Many people have been fighting for, 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 for freedom. I, I remember I was still young when I heard about something, the, the apartheid, the Mandela's fighting for this and that. And, that. and I never took that seriously because I was still young. Now that I, I, I'm old now and I'm, I, I should be involved in a struggle, the previous struggle has been one, that is the, the freedom one. But still, we still must go on fighting because we haven't uh, got the real, the real freedom. We are not free yet. As long as as we are still living with HIV and there's nothing done with that, we are st we, we are not yet free. Aluta continua, aluta continua, continua. Yeah, yeah. So is that it? Yeah. We agree on aluta continua. The struggle goes on. We are boos who take it. I'm a cabin, so I'm a
Thank you. 